Hey there, Mission Control. Real Martian here. Today I've got a little bit of work to do on lane two. We're going to be installing the electricity and the water monitoring, microgreen control, and fan control uh, automation unit, the one that you've seen me working on. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, let me quickly go over all the things we need to do. And it's so nice not having the tarps on anymore. Uh, we've got to install our power monitor. I'm going to put a switch in for the pump right here so that we don't have to keep turning the breaker off to do our pump checks. Uh, I got our GFCI. I'm going to put that back in. Got the four panel box here. It's going to go on the back. That's where all the sensors and everything will be coming into. And then I've got a whole bunch of the flow meters and everything that I need to install. So uh, going to be exciting to get this one okay, all put so together. Step one of this project uh, was to actually I had to rewire the main box here. I brought main power out, put it into a switch. Switch has the main line power going out to the lane as well as power going to the pump. And now the pump is actually on a switch right here so we can leave the entire lane running and actually turn the pump off right here so that we can do our maintenance on the pump without having to shut down everything else in the lane. So that's a good thing. Here we go. Uh, waterproof case here. We've got our power monitor plugged in. Right now it says that with the pump turned off, we've got 123 volts at 0.17 amps, 0.18. Uh, we have 0 0.040 kilowatt hours used, and right now we're at 0 0.018 kilowatts of power going through there. So I don't have the uh, automation unit plugged in yet. I'm getting ready to do that next. But uh, what I wanted to show you here, let me get you a little more mobile. Here's our power reading. And now I'm turning the pump on. Look at it jump up there. 11 amps. And I don't have all the lights turned on on the lane, so right now the only thing that's on there are the Arduinos controlling the valves. Uh, with this pump going, it's drawing 12 amps, basically, uh, and we only have 15 available for this lane. So one thing we might start considering is going to a single pump system for the entire building that we can draw off a different circuit. That would free up some electricity that we might be able to use uh, for maybe like a heat pump or something. Now the reason we originally had uh, this pump set up, each lane has its own pump, is because we wanted to make sure that if there's any disease or anything that happens uh, in one of these lanes, it can't spread to the other lanes. So we didn't go with a big pump that could control the entire building, we went small pumps that could take care of a single lane by itself. Given our power situation, we might want to take the risk of disease and get the power so that we can actually run throughout the entire winter. This is going to be something we're going to have to really think about. I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. Okay, so I just got the system hooked up uh, with the automation unit, the Arduino, the control sensor, and I plugged in the power monitoring unit into the Ethernet jack on the unit. And I'm looking at the database here. And sure enough, I see that we've got 118.4 watt hours. Uh, 118.4 watts, hasn't been running for an hour yet. Uh, 118, that's not right. Lane current says 118.4 amps. That looks like a, uh, a code problem. And lane two power is 118.4 volts. It almost looks like we got volts. Looks like uh, this is a software problem. Uh, we're reading everything, but we're reading voltage across everything the same. So got some bugs there that we need to check, but it's sending information from the unit to the server. So hardware-wise, looks like we're good. So yeah, uh, it actually ended up being a really simple problem. And uh, in the code, just had to update a variable name, and that was it. So just went in, did some typing, and whammo, everything was working. So that was awesome. And uh, this kind of brings us to an update for phase two. So phase two, if you recall, is supposed to be all the automation is going to be done. Well, uh, there's just no way I'm going to get to it all this year with everything else I have to do. So we decided that we're going to stop the automation stuff right now and we're going to come back to it in the winter time when uh, move inside and things get quiet again. 
uh, as far as builds go. So we're going to start focusing on building a whole lot of stuff. We got a lot of things to actually build, so I'm excited about that. Uh, speaking of building, uh, it's also pretty much a conclusion that I can't get to all this stuff by myself. So some of you had actually offered if you wanted, you know, if you could help. So here's here's what I'm looking for is uh, basically like a partner, people who want to partner with us. Uh, the manual labor, uh, we're going to probably have to do a work party, uh, but I really need some help in the engineering department. So if anybody actually really wants to help solve problems and do some design and maybe even take some build stuff on uh, from a partner standpoint, we'd love to talk. So reach out to me at trm at therealmartian.com and uh, we can start those conversations. I know in software I'm starting to be able to do that and I haven't, I'm so bogged down I haven't had time to actually sit down and really figure out uh, how to how to work with other people honestly uh, when I'm doing all the design stuff as well so it's kind of a tough situation but I'm uh, definitely looking for help so I'm gonna do a help wanted help needed series coming up um, going over the projects that we're gonna take on this year and if you are interested please let us know in the meantime if you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this is Real Martian out <laughs>